Good morning, everyone. Miss Onstead here. So today we're changing the way we're doing things just a little bit. And social studies and English classes are going to combine your assignment. And so um, what we've decided to do is create a Google form that will walk you through each step and help you answer each day's AMI activity. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read the directions together and then we'll move on. So answer your daily assignment on this Google Doc using the daily AMI video attached to help you out if you need it. You will answer each day's journal entry for social studies and English on a Google form attached in your social studies Google Classroom. You will have to send a copy of your responses to your English teacher. Once you submit each day's journal entry, it will email you a copy of your responses and you will need to then forward that email to your English teacher to receive credit for both subjects. All right, so then let's go down to this pandemic journal description. The following exploration combines your social studies and English classes into one class. Your job is to chronicle the changes you observe as your community, the country, and the world respond to COVID-19. Your unique daily observations will serve as primary sources to the people in the future. Be authentic, be honest, be reflective. Pay attention to the details. Each day, take note of what you are seeing and hearing on the news, among your friends, within your family, and in your community. Feel free to use your videos, written language, poetry, sketches, or other means of expression as you document your experience during this global pandemic. The questions below are to guide your thinking, but you are encouraged to ask your own too. As you reflect on your own experiences, you will also study and reflect on pandemics of the past, and you will analyze how you develop throughout this experience. When we return to school, you will be asked to turn in your journal of daily observations. Okay, so then you're gonna answer each one of these questions. And here is today's um, reading. Okay, so you have question or article one and article two chunks. And so you'll read these and then here's the questions and the sentence frames are in red, okay? And then you will answer the questions here and then you will submit. So if you have, um, I guess we can go up and look at these questions individually if you'd like. What kind of primary sources do you think people will examine in the future to learn about current COVID-19 outbreaks? Remember, primary sources are things like diaries, um, newspaper articles, that type of thing, all right? What similarities do you see in the way the plague and COVID-19 both spread? So similarities are things that they have in common. Use evidence from the article to chunk and support your answer. And then what differences, things that are different about um, the plague and COVID-19. And you're supposed to use evidence from the article to support your answer for that. Remember, if you have any questions, you can contact me, Mrs. Zardin, or um, Coach Faulkner, and we'll, we're always happy to help. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.